Okay, it is September 30th, 2014, 1058 AM, calling uh, Rinky Noonan Law Firm. Hi, how are you doing today? Good, thank you. And yourself? Well, I'm doing super. Can't complain on a cold, blustery day like today. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> how can I help you? I was wondering if uh, Mr. Justin was available. I will try and extend your mask. Is calling? This is Terry Nemers. One moment, I'll try his extension, Carrie. Terry. Terry, sorry. Yes, that's right. Hello, this is Terry Numbers. How are you doing today? I'm fine. How are you? Well, I'm doing super. Can't complain on a cold, blustery day like today. Anyhow, um, I'm calling about uh, I have some problems with a couple of your um, associates or partners. I'm not exactly sure what the relationship you have with them. but It's uh, Mr. Ripple and uh, Matthew Loven. The, um, Mr. Loven apparently is the uh, city attorney for Richmond, and Mr. Ripple is the city attorney for uh, Rockville. And um, I've submitted data requests to both cities. I just sent you an email now. It should be, I sent it to you and um, Mr. Loven and Mr. Ripple also. But anyhow, um, part of the problem is I submitted a data request uh, slash complaint against uh, the Cold Spring Chief of Police, uh, Boucher, and I submitted that to the Richmond um, administrator. And uh, I recorded the call uh, one day when I sent him the um, evidence, you know, pertaining to my complaint, and he acknowledged receipt of that. And then uh, the next day I sent the complaint and data request, and he has willfully refused to acknowledge uh, my complaint and the data request and then just recently uh, I do believe it was uh, September 15th I contacted the Richmond mayor uh, Mr. Mathiason and uh, informed him of this uh, matter and uh, of course told him that I'd be contacting the sheriff's department if I did not receive my data and of course uh, the mayor willfully refused to uh, send me my data or acknowledge receipt of the complaint so and I noticed that your your uh, Mr. Loven was the city attorney so I presumed that Mr. Loven was advising uh, his client to engage in criminal activity by willfully refusing to produce the data and uh, in regard to uh, Rockville uh, I submitted a data request to um, the city there. I was speaking with a Mandy Lias, and I told her that I needed to uh, find, a, actually get a copy of this uh, form that uh, Rick Tallman was being charged $50 an hour for, which of course, um, apparently your Mr. Ripple created. It's a legal document, so you know it's obviously created by your firm you know you've charged the city for the the creating the form and I asked for you know how much it cost and you know a copy of the form you know and who authorized him to create the document and of course that information has been illegally withheld from me also so that's why I'm calling you to inform you uh, you know of the situation so you can't claim that you have no knowledge of it. Uh, you've been sent the email and the complaint against uh, Boche. You've uh, received my data request for the um, public information, the uh, for uh, the death of uh, Thomas Decker, uh, the officer from Cold Spring Richmond Police Department. 
And I presume the reason why that information is being illegally withheld from you is because your uh, officer Ryder is the prime suspect in the murder, which, you know, is still unsolved. And I keep on talking about how Officer Ryder is the prime suspect in the murder. And I don't believe that uh, your uh, Richmond Cold Spring Police Chief uh, Boche appreciates that. Nor do I believe. Okay, well, I, I, will, I will tell you this. I know nothing about your requests that you've made so far. And, I mean, in what capacity are you requesting this, just as a member of the public? Well, uh, exactly are what you, I... Are uh, with media somewhere? Uh, or I, first of all, there's no... Are you a subject of the investigation? Well, first of all, you're not even allowed to ask me any of those questions. You... You're just supposed to. Well, no, no. As a matter, the little I do know about data practice is certain individuals are entitled to data that other people might not be. That's uh, why I'm asking that now. Which you don't want which, to answer that? That's fine, and I will talk with Adam and Matt and see what uh, they believe is going on in this, and make sure that we handle it in appropriate fashion. Well, apparently, it hasn't been handled in appropriate fashion because well, I don't know that. Well, I don't know that. I mean, that's what I have to find out. I don't know whether it's been handled appropriately or not. Well, the thing is, that's why I've documented, you know, my calls with and, and, the, with and the I'm chief assuming of that's why you sent me these things, and I will, you know, speak with them about them, and then we will uh, respond or advise our clients to respond appropriately. Well, uh, this information is being illegally withheld. It's a criminal act. I know, I know that's what you're saying. Mr. Nevers. I know that's your belief. I don't know that to be true. Well, that's what I, I will try to get at. You have constructive knowledge of it. Obviously, the mayor contacted your law firm to f get advice on this. Mr. Nevers, what I'm telling you is I don't know anything about this. Well, you have I will look at this and then we will respond or give our clients advice to respond appropriately. Well, uh, just thank like... You, thank you for bringing just, it to my attention. Just like I told the Richmond mayor that I will be contacting the sheriff. This is obviously a criminal matter because information Public information is being illegally withheld from me, and I will not tolerate that. I, don't, I know that's your belief. I, I don't well, know that's true. Well, I, I base my belief on facts. Mr. Mr. Nemers, I'm not going to discuss this anymore until I've looked at it. So thank you for bringing it to our attention. Well, I expect a call back then. My phone number is 320-283-5715. And I'm also aware that it's a, a violation of a light. <laughs> okay, it is September 30th, 2014, 11.52 a.m., calling uh, Rinky Noonan Law Firm. Good morning, Rinky Hi, how are you doing today? Good, thank you. And yourself? Well, doing super. Can't complain on a windy, blustery day like today. I, actually, I called you about an hour ago. Um, okay. And uh, Mr. Justin was uh, extremely rude to me, and he hung up on me. I think it was because I brought up the fact that uh, apparently your law firm is uh, advising the city of Richmond and the city of Rockville to engage in criminal activity. And then he made some wild and outrageous uh, claims that he had no, no idea about this missing data, yet I have tracking software on my website, and um, I, I'm aware that uh, your law firm has been on my website since um, November 13th of 2013, so they're well aware of my uh, blog and my YouTube channel. So I um, just want to know if... Uh, Mr. Justin is going to be um, as passive aggressive this time when I want to speak to him as he was the last time. Uh, one moment. Let me see if I can get uh, someone to assist you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for holding. I'm still searching for someone to assist you. Can I continue to place you on hold? Thank you. Thank you. Terry? 
Yes. This is Michelle, and Roger has actually gone to lunch right now. Do you want to leave him a voicemail message, and he can call you back after lunch? Uh, Michelle, what? Who are you? An, an attorney or? Nope, I am the receptionist. Okay, I was just speaking to you. No, you were speaking to Kim. She is training. Oh, okay. Okay. She is a new receptionist. Okay. Okay, and Roger is not in the office as of right now. He has gone to lunch, but you can leave your name in his voicemail and he can give you a call back. Well, is there, uh, like, Mr. Is Mr. Ripple or Mr. Loven around? They happen to be... Uh, nope, neither one of those are around either. They're all at lunch right now. This is a bad time to reach anybody. Okay. But you can have any one of their voicemails if you want, Terry. Sure. Uh, why, don't okay. you, why don't you switch me to Mr. Uh, Justin's uh, voicemail, please? Okay, sure. I sure will. Just a minute, please. Thank you. Hello, this is Roger. Leave a message. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. After the tone, please record your message. When finished, you may hang up to deliver the message or press pound for more options. Uh, Mr. Justin, um, you hung up on me about an hour ago when I called you about uh, this apparent uh, advising the city of Rockville and, um, and uh, Richmond uh, to engage in criminal activity, to willfully refuse to um, uh, give me public information and to uh, willfully refuse to uh, acknowledge my complaint against uh, Chief Boucher of the Cold Spring Richmond Police Department. And you made the wild and outrageous claim that you had no idea about these, um, my allegations, which, you know, you called my beliefs, of course, my beliefs based on fact. And uh, I have more facts that your Rinky Noonan uh, website has been found on my blog, Lion News, um, let's see, August 4th of 20. 14, August 6th, August 7th, August 12th, August 20th, August, and today three times, August 30th, uh, uh, excuse me, September 30th, 2014, and you even downloaded a video from my YouTube channel, uh, November 13th, 2013, and that video is uh, Lion News Assistant Sherburne County Attorney Simey watching Lion News instead of working, part two. So, uh, you know, obviously you're making some wild and outrageous claims here that, you know, are not backed by facts. So the fact is I will contact the sheriff. Apparently you're, this is, you know, why you hung up on me is because, you, you know, you are engaging in criminal activity and you know it is a violation of your license to engage, uh, someone to engage in criminal activity. So uh, you are put on notice that I will be contacting the sheriff if I do not receive my data. Terry Nimmers, 320-283-5713. I expect a call back. Bye.